I, I think this topic, at least for today, I can't wait to do a part two about preparing for birth and kind of going into that, but I think what I want to do on at least on Memorial Day for us is just awaken us to that wonder so that we can begin pondering it. Because as we do, confirmations will start coming. It might be from a loved one that passed. I know when Dad passed, it, it brought me, I felt, closer in sensitivity to the inner realms. And even though Flower had that sensitivity, I know Lauren's passing because of their great connection on the earth deepened her experiences as well. And she says that when he passed on that night, she was so praying for peace in her own self, in her own being. But she said, then his voice sounded in my ears with its ringing familiarity, I am here, dear. And I'm, I'm sure that was a real good balm for her in that experience. And I know my mom, we were traveling in Glacier on a spiritual trip, actually, with Questhaven when my dad passed here uh, just off the grounds of Questhaven where he was staying. And so she was processing that grief um, on that experience of that trip. And there was a moment on the next day we're on the bus, and I think she almost gasped and things because she said, Dad came to me, and he whispered in her ear and said, I surprised you, didn't I? <laughs> With our own faith and understanding of the other side, we don't need these confirmations, do we? But boy, do they lift us and reaffirm our faith and give us great hope into that wonder that our loved one is with us. Insights into reality has so many wonderful stories. I just want to share one more where Lawrence was describing what it was like to be in the inner worlds. She had another contact she said with him where he was trying to explain how life was for him there. And he said when he first crossed over, he had homesickness even on the other side for family and, and work filled him at first. This feeling was dispelled as teachers showed him how to help without remaining so close to us. He told me that for several weeks he was visited by friends and relatives who had learned he had come home. He has attended many sessions in the halls of learning where he has heard both the masters he already knew and adepts who were new to him. And he has hinted that he is already serving the higher ones in ways they decide. So duties all of a sudden come to us, perhaps. She says, my darling said that as long as we, the family, were grieving, he was instructed to remain near us, that we would sense his presence, which we did. And as our grief became quieter, he was able to go distances from us while keeping his telepathic faculties tuned our way. And one of his delights is visiting great mountains and deva temples to exalt in the flashing color streams and the music tones which radiate from these strongholds. So imagine um, we talk about these things, we hear others' experiences about these things, and on there we can go experience these things. And what a wonderful joy I think that will be for each of us.